Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay until the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Explorer that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you need to find where the trailer lights, fuses are located, which fuses you, uh, and relays as well, fuses, relays for trailer lights, where you can find them. There will be quite a few of those. We will explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. The trailer lights, fuses and relays, where you can expect to find them. We will guys specifically demonstrate on this Ford Edge right here. Now guys, uh, we'll be working practically the day okay in two different fuse boxes the first one we need to open the driver door and here on the driver's side in the full well compartment behind the parking brake paddle look in an angle up in the dash on the left side you will see one um let me show you one uh, black cover and that cover will look like this one here press these two tabs pull it out behind it you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here guys what we need to check now specifically quite a few fuses for the trailer guys then we need to check we're starting first with checking fuse number 13 so that's 10 11 12 13 fuse 13 fuse 14 fuse 47 these fuses will need to be checked then you need to check fuse number 31 okay and that's that fuse right here you need to check also guys fuse number 40 that fuse right there after that you need to open the hood on your Ford Explorer on the driver's side next to the car battery is the main fuse box press the two tabs open that cover that's the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here what we need to check here specifically guys quite a few things we're just starting now practically so first you need to check fuse number three now fuse number three guys will be okay that fuse right here that's fuse number three then you need to check fuse 24 right there that's the one that you need to check after that we go to fuse 60 so that's 50 6 7 8 9 60 that fuse right here even if you have a missing spot you still count that spot then you need to check fuse number 63 so that's 61 62 63 that fuse 15 m fuse after that you need to find fuse 84 so that's 87 86 85 84 right there you need to check fuse number 93 that 5 m fuse here also guys you need to check relay number 12 right there you need to check relay 37 and 38 these two relays you need to check relay 53 and 77 all these will need to be checked if you have problems with the trailer trailer lights even trailer brake control modules and things like that guys 
So guys, by the way, you have all kinds of different fuses, relay, circuit breakers, and check under the hood. It's even more complicated, guys. And even you have some special fuses, okay, like this one right here. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. We'll recommend to buy some, put them in the glove box for a piece of mine. We'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.